good day how are you well today is wednesday and it's hump day wednesday being the middle of the week a lot of you asked me what is hump day and so it's hard getting over the hump of the week um and i am tired today cat i took your advice i went to bed early i got up on time and i <laughs> my body's like ew i don't like this so i'm very tired today uh, I didn't focus on the vlog last night. That's why I went up yesterday late. Um, I'm just tired today, but I'm staying in my PJs till I need to leave to go take Boston to Tutors. Um, I just uploaded today's vlog, and now I am pulling out all the Christmas decorations. Are you guys excited? I am. I am. Oh, can you see this? Can you see this? All right. Um, I, you know how before I doubled up on my bands, I mentioned that I was wearing two over here and one here. Well, I went to the orthodontist yesterday and he was quite proud of me because my jaw moved very well. Now, um, now it just needs to move this way just a titch so that they line up and they, the teeth need to, now the jaw needs to come together or something like that. So that's why I have these triangle bands i'm still doing the two guys i have a lot of bands in my mouth right now i have two here one here still but another one added here to make the triangle and another one here to make the triangle so now it's going to come down together and he said that my teeth are looking really good in fact he said that i might be getting them off before jonah he still has some spaces from when he lost his teeth that have to come together so, but he said anywhere from four to eight months, I could have my braces off. He promised me that they will be off for my 40th birthday in October. So, but they look really good. So I'm excited to get them off. Uh, hopefully in the spring, beginning of summer. So everyone pray that the bands do their thing quickly. <laughs> and I can get them off. So sorry, you have to look at me. Um, all right. Um, okay. So here's what's going on. So, um, I think we're going to do this again this year. Uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law gave us this box two years ago. And it ends up being a nativity and some decorations and some symbols of Christmas um, that the kids get to learn about each day. Um, so, like, the first day, um, the first day is Mary. And there's a message in there and an activity and uh, a song so it's something for us to do each night as a family like a devotional so we're going to do this again this year so um but i'm wondering when we start it is it um let me count how many we have and then that will tell me when we start this okay i found the letter from uh, derek's parents and it is seven days of celebrating christ so we have seven days to celebrate him. There's um, an each day. So it's leading up to Christmas uh, Eve, I believe. So um, the first one is Mary. The second day is about Joseph. The third day is about the lamb, the angel, the shepherd, wise men, and then the Christ child. So we are going to do this again this year because... We just loved it and all the messages and the kids really learned a lot and we and there's scriptures and songs to it. So we're going to do it again this year. So uh, very thankful that uh, she put this together for us. Very thankful. So we're going to do it again this year because we really enjoyed it that one year. So all right, I will keep this under the tree uh, with the bow that came with with the bow that came with it on to remind us to do it. Um, and have it out front so that's what i'm gonna do okay here is the basket that was in my office this is with the new christmas decorations that we got this year while i was out shopping so i have these to distribute i'm starting to put out decorations on the couch to know where i want to put them um a lot of pictures and santas i haven't even like grabbed everything i am still <laughs> pulling things out I, I don't know if i want to do all my nativities here or switch it up and do it over here. This is where I usually do my Santas. So I'm not sure. I'm still debating. These are the pillows that I keep on the bench here. So um, I'm still debating 
where I'm going to put what, but I'm just going to take everything out and lay it out so I can see it and then go from there. So there's things that I want to print out like I did for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Um, there's a really cool fireplace printable. Okay, so I'm going to take everything out, lay it out so I can see it. Um, I have the new um, runner for the kitchen table out, um, letting it... <laughs> kind of settle in it's a little um, wrinkly from being folded but I found this table runner at Taipan here in Utah at the University Mall and I love how it looks with the wood so okay let's keep going so right now I'm on the canvas shop website and I like this fireplace printable that they have up they have a few others um, so I'm just getting on and checking it out. Today I can get 20% off. So if you guys want to know, I, I'll put this website down below. They're not paying me to talk about them. They're just freaking awesome. So um, I am looking under their Christmas printables to put on my walls. So go check them out. They're so fun. So uh, Denise and I are going to go Friday morning. I already talked with her and uh, she already has some of these as well so she loves them so I I wish I got on Monday I didn't even think to look at them dang damn it but today's Wednesday I can get 20% off but oh well oh well guys I have an idea and I want to know what you think I have a wall that needs some decorating and I get a lot of holiday cards from you guys which we love and I want to showcase them what if I got two of these or even like three and print them up in different sizes to make it like a woodland theme on the wall and I can showcase your cards this this year this way what do you think I don't know I'm kind of liking this idea I love to showcase it this way I don't know I thought this was awesome so look how like cheap it is like four bucks to get the download and then you just go to staples and you can print these things out so I'm thinking I'm gonna showcase all the holiday cards this way I think I like this hey guys so Boston is in with the tutor and I just ran to the Maverick around the corner grabbed myself a coke with a little bit of vanilla I went and tried their dirty coke again like with their syrups they had I don't know if I told you last time I tried them they were disgusting but I put way too much in so I made one like they said to do no it's disgusting so if you see these sweeteners at your gas station and you want a dirty coke run away run away they are so gross oh my gosh they're disgusting but if your gas station has the Torini syrup go for it like um if they have the Torini and a large like this uh, I would put like two to three pumps of the coconut syrup and a pump uh, of the lime. But if you see that brand I just showed you, run. Run the other way. Because <laughs> it's disgusting. Okay, so I went there and I grabbed a Kabani Greek yogurt to eat. <laughs> I just put my bands back in so this will be easy to keep, eat and have my bands in. This is my lunch. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what I'm doing while I am waiting for him, and he will be out in about 10 minutes, is, um, I have my holiday planner, and, uh, just finishing, go I'm actually looking at the recipes, <laughs> the recipes that I have in the back and um, gathering what I want to make um, this year for our candy treats and stuff like that and which ones I want to share with you um, like film and I'm also looking up have you guys I'm sure everyone's seen these gooseberry at least here in America these gooseberry um, cookbooks they're really great so I have a lot of pages tabbed and I'm looking at the ones that I have tabbed and um and then deciding and writing down which recipes i'm making this year and when so um and of course i'll take you along with me and my phone 
has been texting. People have been texting me like crazy today. Oh, it's Cat. Hi, Cat. Oh, Cat. She ordered the Instapot. <gasps> yes. You're going to love it. Lots of O's. Love it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to find my pen. And I'm um, going to look at the recipes in these books. And write them in my holiday planner. So I know in what page. Where to find them. Which ones I'm going to do. And then roll it into my menu planning and filming. So. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. So when I get home. I'm going to be making. Um split pea soup right when I get home that it's a quick meal so well not like well it cooks for at least an hour but it's all dump in one pot like I don't have to do anything else it's just like dump and then split pea soup mm. so that's what I'm making for dinner and of course I'll show you so okay I need to ignore my phone and do this <laughs> who am I kidding I'm probably gonna look at my phone Okay, I got my split pea soup in the pot. Just gonna bring it to a boil and then it'll simmer for an hour. This recipe is so easy. Go click on the link below. I'm telling you, this is the best pea soup I've ever had and I used to hate pea soup. So, this is so easy, so easy. So, I have some celery that's starting to wilt and get really flimsy. Um, so, I put it in a Ziploc bag with some water at the bottom and this is gonna crisp it right back up. Yay! Okay, this is the kind of chaos I got going on right now. It is 4.30. Uh, Boston and Shaley hung the uh, magnets onto the garage door. They love playing with those. I love that that door is magnetic because then I can keep things off my fridge. <laughs> and this is what we got going on still. Look at this. But I'm loving doing it. It's making me happy, happy, happy. So still much to do, still am deciding on what I'm doing, where things are going, and what's going downstairs. So still working on it, but I'm having fun with it. So, um, But you won't see the end result until tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I was looking everywhere for my poinsettias. I'm like, where the heck are all my poinsettias? I have more downstairs on the ping pong table to decorate down there. But then I remember last year that when I organized and cleaned the uh, closet under the stairs um, where all the blankets are, that I put the poinsettias in um, some rubber made bins in the back of that closet. So here they are and I can put them out. But I was like seriously thinking forever, where the heck are they? Found them. All right, so um, soup is on. The soup is on and I'm uh, just going to let it do its thing. And now I'm going to go get ready for my Release Society meeting that I have tonight. And if you are new to my channel, my I have a calling at church and I am the second counselor in the Release Society presidency. And that is over the women of the church. And we help one another and give aid to one another, have activities that help bond us and have fun and get to know you. So I need to go get ready for my meeting right now. And that way I have all the things that I want to present for activities because I'm over activities. So our next activity is in January and we have a concept down now. Just going to put some ideas together and bring it to the table tonight and see what everyone thinks. And everyone puts their input in and yeah. So that's what I want to go work on right now. Oh, okay. My meeting was really good. And I am ready for some soup. It looks so good. The house smells amazing. So, whew. I am going to eat some dinner and um, work with the kids on homework. Some kids are out, activities. It's a Wednesday night. So thanks for joining me today, you guys. I really appreciate you all. What are you going to say to them? Hello? Toodles. Oh, it's not time to go already. Yes, it? it's time to go. Did you show them the split pea soup? Yes. yes. I love split pea soup. Yeah, so I was just saying goodbye to them, so. Right. Am I getting you in? Toodles. Toodles! We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Toodles.